It's 3 o'clock Tuesday. That means it's time for Mets and Money Live. Mets and Money Live begins right now. So, we are going to end the show with a year in review. Yes. Well, we want to know what happened this we year. We want to know what happened this year, Steve. Can tell you us. tell us what happened tell this us year? What happened. Allow me. Kenny, did you take the? Uh... Oh, I did he take did. the clicker. You don't need it. But... <laughs> My bad. All right. Year in review. Uh oh. <laughs> I feel like this could be like very monumental. There should. Be this really... is big. Really big. I, mean, I feel like I had a pretty good year. I don't know what you guys we feel like, but track. this is a huge year for mm -hmm. me. I mean, life can, all things considered, if you're not, if you're unemployed right now, it's hard to get a job. Or if you're incessantly watching your portfolio, that probably is hard on the ticker. But generally speaking, you got a good job, it's stable, life is pretty cheap, things are good, day to day, you don't see too much of a big problem. So I'm going to go with 2011 was a strong, strong year. Okay. You guys too? Yeah? Yeah, no? absolutely. I mean, I'm happy. We'll see it. Let's talk about it. In some regards, it was a tough year. Talk about some, the good, the bad, and the ugly. We lost Steve Jobs. Mm. That was a big one. I mean, the quintessential creative, entrepreneurial kind of guy. The iPhone, the iPad, the I, everything. The largest company in the world. The largest company in the world. That was a big one. I mean, I think there's probably not another person that we could have lost that would have been bigger than that, period. Is there? No, I wouldn't think so. So that one was really sad. U.S. credit downgrade. Damn. Down went the bull. <laughs> That's kind of sad, too. But, I mean, as of now, day to day, I guess it doesn't, it doesn't touch most of us every day. The Japan tsunami touched a lot of people. Uh, that was a big story, and that's had a, a tremendous ripple effect, and that, that was big. Occupy Wall Street, that's a big downer. <laughs> <laughs> and the worst part about 2011 is the fact that I now know who these people are. <laughs> Catherine Middleton, <laughs> that completely upsets me. I know who Katy Perry is and Adele is. <laughs> that might, that's almost enough to ruin 2011. <laughs> you, you throw on a few Kardashians and <laughs> it's a miserable, miserable year from that perspective. The entertainment might have been the downfall for 2011. It usually is. Every year it gets yeah. worse and worse, it seems. Maybe that's because we're getting older. Yeah, I mean, I, most of our production guys here, they're big Katy Perry fans. But the, re <laughs> the rest of us, less so. But some good things happen, too. Oh, yeah. How it went down, you might be pro or con. I mean, I don't want to get into that too much. But nonetheless, roadblocks to freedom disappeared this year. Absolutely. Getting rid of bin Laden was absolutely monumental. Gaddafi, huge. And outside of the tragic loss to the sports world, Kim Jong-il <laughs> Jong <laughs> is uh, no longer with what, us. And what was his score? I don't know if you guys are familiar with his sports escapades. But <laughs> best the best first, athlete ever. The first time he played golf, Per the uh, North Korean government's newspaper, he scored a 38 under par with 13 holes in ones. Nice. Which is really good. <laughs> <laughs> so Maybe good. Ask Nancy Lopez how good That's that right. Is. That is really, really good. And in a soccer game against Brazil, he scored 49 goals. How many were blindfolded? 13 blindfolded. There you go. <laughs> and one was a full field bicycle kick. <laughs> So it's awesome. Yes, forty nine. He allowed one other uh, goal to be scored in that game. You know, his the first time he ever played golf, it was he was so good at it that he quit playing. That's right. He, he, it was an immediate retirement. He scored thirty eight under par. Decided it was easy and didn't like it. <laughs> so, outside <laughs> the tragic loss of the sports world, the roadblock to freedom is gone. I don't know about anyone else out there who plays golf, but it ain't that easy. 
Oh, it's not that easy, but uh, he made, it look, he made it look easy. Yeah. Whatever. So I do think that's big. We, we lost some roadblocks to freedom. And hopefully this perpetuates into 2012 and uh, we move on. 9-11 anniversary. We got the 10-year anniversary. There's been no terrorist attacks since then. And we got a memorial up to the 9-11. So while the 9-11 the was a huge tragedy, obviously, 10 years have gone by and a lot of healing has gone on and we've been safe. So that's a huge plus. I think it's worth looking back and saying how safe, appreciate how safe we've been. Yeah, the memorial was complete, but I think also what kind of gets lost in it as well is that the Freedom Tower, which is basically the replacement as far as the office building goes, the Freedom Tower has like 80 or 100 floors done already, which you kind of, you, whenever you see pictures of where the World Trade Center was, you kind of see it off to the side, but I'm not sure many viewers out there, many people realize how far along that is as well. Yeah. So I, I think it's worth appreciating where we are relative to where we came from, because people talk about doom and gloom and life will never be the same. It certainly changed things, but it wasn't the end of the world either. Yeah. You can move on and grow and keep going. Massive innovation. It's kind of funny. That, did you look at this earlier, Michelle? Yeah. Okay, because they created a flying car this year. <gasps> Yeah, you were just talking awesome. about th they have a fully working <laughs> flying car. That's and not. I tried to remember the name and I can't remember, but it's been tested. It goes 65 miles an hour on the highway. It's street legal and it leaves the ground at 115 miles an hour. That's not what I so, picture. What whether I think or not we like... actually have these soon is one thing, but we have a prototype that works. Hmm. So Bye, flying car in the future of Epcot Center is not the future anymore, baby. See, when, oh, I, here. when I pictured flying cars, I always thought of Jetsons. Yeah. yeah. But that doesn't look like the Jetsons car. It doesn't look like George's car, but it's here. <laughs> and my guess is Mark probably will have one next year <laughs> if I was a betting man. But yeah, I mean, is this the most important innovation of the year? No. But everybody thinks when you see the market going down, everything's stopping. Cool stuff is happening. We got TVs that are 3D. That's kind of awesome. Like, consumers are now picking them up, having 3D in their house. Oh, really? Yeah, hit or miss whether or not you like it, but it's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. They got glass that bends. That's pretty cool. Bendy glass. That's not what they call it. They should. They call it Gorilla Glass. Mm -hmm. But it's flexible, pliable, scratch resistant. That's kind of a strong innovation. What you use it for, I don't know. But... Cool. We'll find our use for it here. Steve Jobs is going to build his, his new, or was going to build his new headquarters out of it. Is he? Yeah, that's, he had the, the, the mock-up and they had bendy glass. Bendy glass. Yeah. They should have called it that. I, Gorilla glass is weak. Yeah, absolutely. Bendy glass. So we have massive innovation always going forward. A few blind squirrels found a nut this year. <laughs> and uh, Steve owes me money on this one. so I actually do owe Zach money. I said that uh, they wouldn't win many games this year, and they Might did. Might be a sore spot. It is, uh, I'm getting over it. If they go to the playoffs, I'll consider it money well spent. Okay. And most importantly, a new record number of suites were sent to investment <laughs> services by our advisor base this year. Holy cow. Oh, it was unbelievable. We have been eating like kings for like three weeks. So if, if you did send us something, we really, really appreciate it. If you didn't, 2012 could be your year. <laughs> but, and we accept them all year long. Yeah, yeah well, it doesn't have to be Christmas. <laughs> But we got lots of goodies this year. Charlie Sheen was winning all year. This might have been my favorite story of the year. Charlie Sheen. I mean, this guy is giving us more fodder. He's awesome. He has Adonis blood. Or the, he, tiger blood. And Adonis DNA. Yeah. Adonis DNA and tiger yes. blood. But he wasn't the only one winning. We were winning. I mean, you had a lot of good, a lot of bad, but we as a wolf pack were winning this year. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to talk about what the year is because most of this pertains to our advisors. Yep. One, what do you think that is? That's the number of PBS specials that were recorded that are going to be game changers and awesome yep. this year. So uh, this is going to bring a ton of credibility to our advisor base and it's the number is one because it is going to be truly unique. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. 64. Shout out if you know. Oh, I know. Unless you've already looked at oh. the PowerPoints. <laughs> okay, forget it. 
Number of new coaches here this year. We got 64 brand new people out there saving clients with prudent portfolios this year. That's huge. Awesome. That's great That's to get amazing. 64 more people out there spreading the story that needs so much attention and credibility and just someone to fight the media. $337 million. Net new. That's the net new money our advisors and coaches have brought in this year. That's $337 million of investor money saved from speculation and gambling. 7,634 no. new clients, or new accounts, excuse me, which equals 3,650 clients. Mm. So 3,600 people were saved from speculation and gambling. That's a lot of lives changed in a single year. Yes, it is. By some small little firm in Cincinnati in their, in their wolf pack. Mm -hmm. Kind of awesome. What was that, like 10 a day? What was that number? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So smart, Zach. <laughs> so the, math, the math just like, just <laughs> goes. <laughs> 15,236. Of mice? Of mice. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Number of clients that should oh, be totally thankful fine. they found a coach like you. That's the total number of clients we got. So we're, we're right now sitting on 15,000 clients. So we at Matt's and Money want to thank you guys for fighting this good fight with us. 38 is the number of people here that have enjoyed fighting it with you guys. We got 38 people here. 39, one of them said he was on the fence whether or not he enjoyed the fun. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we have 38 people here that have loved every minute of the year helping you guys save investors. Oh, I've got one. Four. Four. Yes, four. Number of fingers you're holding up. Four new Mats and Money babies this year. Four new Mats, Mats and Money, money babies. Mats and Money year this Mats year. Mats and Money have a big baby. Second generation Mats and Money is going to be right. strong. That's right. That's <laughs> right. Joe Pegram had a baby. The only girl. No. no, two girls now. <laughs> I'm so confused. Okay. So there's Mia, and then Cash, which was Rick's baby, baby boy. Then Chase. Chance. Chance. See, I'm getting them confused. <laughs> All these C-named babies. Okay. Chance, right? Mm -hmm. With Steve. And then finally, Miss Madeline with Zach. So we have four new Mats and Money babies this year. It's a pretty have... big year for us. That's a lot of babies. That is a lot, That's of, a lot babies. of babies. Never so, saw that one coming at the beginning of the year. No. <laughs> so a lot of sleepless people at Matt's and Money this year. Absolutely. <laughs> They're hoping they get more sleep next year. There's no chance we won't. <laughs> <laughs> that was an awesome presentation. That was an awesome presentation. Thank you, Mr. Steve. Absolutely awesome. Raise the roof. Yeah, nice raise work. Raise the roof. So uh, yes, absolutely, Matt's and Money coaches. This is this has been an awesome year, an incredible year. I feel like we should have New Year's party hats. And, I really didn't think mm, of that till the last oh, minute. That would have been good. Like yeah, the little oh. horn. That would have been cool. Confetti coming. Confetti, yes. So oh. imagine it in your imagination. So yes, yeah, so it has been a great year. Um, the coaches out there, thank you so much for being part of this. Uh, we are looking to grow that much more next year, save that many more clients and people, uh, investors out there who are in the dark, um, who are speculating and gambling and maybe don't even realize it, um, or who have suffered through so much pain that they're ready to give up. Um, they are in need of us and you out there, uh, you coaches out there. So thank you again. And also roadblocks to freedom. I mean, that's a big slide too. There's a lot of people, a lot, a lot of people who are who are suppressing others in their countries as dictators and, and, and terrorists, who are suppressing others who actually went away this year. Um, and that's huge. As much as we're trying to spread free markets and, 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 and capitalism, and that's the greatest way to win, in the, where these people were, where, where Kim Jong-il was, I mean, and, and Gaddafi, you know, there's one winner in that scenario. It's that person. It's the dictator. You know, if we can get rid of those dictators and we can spread free markets, everyone wins. Absolutely. That's what it's about. So thank you for joining us. Any final thoughts? Mm -hmm. You guys? Optimistic for 2012, but in a whole different way from, uh, from uh, the prognosticators and predictors of the market. We are looking forward to a really great year, a year of saving investors and 
you know, crazy new fun things for lots of money, their coaches and their investors. We are bringing this message to Main Street next year and slaying yeah. the Wall Street bullies. So thank you for tuning in, and we will see you in 2012. Bye. Do your little waves. Do like your pageants. <laughs> there you go.